I can go over. There we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Marvel's Spider Man. Yes. Keep it darker so that way when it does get light, you can actually see. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we're wearing the damage suit. Because that is the next suit on the suit list. Huh. Looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. I wonder what my number one fan thinks about the fist takedown. It is just a fax with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two times. Two times. Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle and Flood the Book. And, and as always, if you want Mr. Jameson's book, Spider Man Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalization, don't ask, not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Space. Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider Man respect for taking down Wilson Fisk, right? I mean, one last pop boss is just forever. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? Prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no. I'm a plumber. Oh, good. Then fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. As soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war on the street, but does that flip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. He's not Someday, uh, someday, Jonah, I'm gonna climb this fucking in. I'm gonna climb up this fucking ledge, and you're gonna, and you're gonna. <laughs> don't, don't, don't fuck that shit. Uh, why the fuck did I stick to that ledge? Why couldn't I climb up the fucking thing? I was right there. It was two inches on my head. Uh, what? I'm holding forward. Don't go backwards, you dumbass, you donkey. Uh, no, go. Go forward. There you go. Uh What's up, Yuri? Don't mind me. I'm, I was just hanging out. You know how it is. I've got a splooge everywhere I go. <clears throat> now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date with the policeman's boss? You got a black and white suit? Uh... No bother here anyway. We spent too much integrating Osborne's surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? was until an hour ago the system was down citywide every tower how you tell me someone sabotaged the central server and now all the towers are offline hmm. it's our job maybe we'll figure it out later right now we need to get the towers back online fast so you called me oh that's sweet i called someone i could trust plus the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix them Ooh, I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Let's take a look at this tower. Oh, with that attitude, why would I ever fix your problems? This is another thing I really like about this game. All of the little we just had a tower come spider was things you? you do, you know. Just pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great, I've got units nearby. Don't bother, I'm on it. 
Hello, crime. My name is Picoro. Watch my back. I was bitten by a radioactive punch. And now I've come to take your knees. Yes. Nice, sweet, yummy kneecaps! Oh, well, that wasn't very nice of you, game. You just had to tutorialize me in the middle of taking some of these caps. I mean, bro, there are infants out there born without kneecaps. They clearly need it more than you assholes do. Alright, you want to get fresh with me, bitch? Yeah, that's right. I'll break your fucking ribs while I'm at it. I'm only one ground to okay. Hmm. You know, Peter, there seems to be a crowd gathering around your antics. Where'd I go? Right up here? Okay, cool. Hmm. Wee! Wee! So you're the snitch. Heads up, creep. Shocky, shocky. Come on, you big bitch. Die already. Hello. All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got somewhere to go? I can take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom no way notifications. Those. I haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, Spider Guy. It's Spider Man. No. Should be able to spot the next tower from up there. <sighs> I love slice of life stuff. I really hate how today's I'm very. <laughs> Ah, uh, no you don't. You know you love me. That is until the DLC is where you just go fucking heap shit. Oh wait, was that a spoiler? Oh, my bad. Sorry, but... You know, I can get fucked, I guess. To track more than just there you go. But yeah, I really hate on how... And how the world is today with... A, it starts with kids, because nowadays kids are so ADHD can't sit down and... all kinds of RFID signals now, including one nearby. What is that? What's going on? What am I looking for? Oh, hello. Oh, it's backpack mission to start now. Yeah, I really hate how ADHD and how fast-paced everything has to be. We can't ever just have simple slice of life stories anymore. I mean, we can, but oh, wow. they're so few and far between. It's saddening. I mean, I attach tracking dots to these. see, shit like this, I love. It's just so normal. How I mean, many of these are scattered around the city. Since it's not all fast-paced and constantly in your face action, like well, number one, most kid shows nowadays, and. Just most 
anything kids related. First real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier. But she didn't seem to mind. Still there? Got a robbery a few blocks away. Oh, Spider come on. Let me Spider-Man Spider already. Mark Spider. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, hello. You are right here, though. My injured shoulder eventually healed. The bill took a lot longer to pay. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I think why, and, this, and the reason why I say it starts with children is... Since too many kids nowadays can't sit still and watch simple, slower-paced shows or enjoy simpler slice of life stuff because it's too slow for them, not fast-paced, and everything's constantly happening on screen all at one time, it just means that you know it's mostly it mostly affects TV shows and stuff like that where. As they grow up, it, the writing of the shows, because when they're kids, you know, writers then learn, oh, write simple, dumbed-down stories just to appeal to the tiny five-year-old Timmy's and Susie's of the world. And as they grow up to hold Timmy and Susie's attention, they keep making, you know, they keep, let's say, dumbing things down. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Pete. But, um, I, I guess the... Uh, it's not really the word what I want to use, but I guess I'm using dumb down, so that's the only word coming to mind right now. Like, the best example I can show is, like... Shows like uh, The Simpsons and Family Guy used to be really good. And, yeah, in recent years, they've kind of gotten better with storytelling. Like some good. other general things. Tools I need for suit repair at the lab. I wonder if Dr. Octavius is left for the day. And yeah, you know, as time has gone on, those stories have gotten better and better, and the writers have actually started writing stories with a lot more substance. Doctor, how did it go with the committee? I'm so sorry. Oh, come on, can this game shut up? See, that's the shit where that as time goes on, we see less and less of in life. Just simple, dumb, cool stuff like that, you know. A little slice of life, you know. Because as these kids grow up, they don't want, they're not going to want simple little happy stories that don't really do anything, you know. They want action constantly and stuff to be happening. That's why whenever kids' movies like, and even then, it's it's not just because the audience is, I don't really know what words to use to, to describe what I'm thinking of, but, um, <laughs> found a bug. <laughs> I don't know if anyone, hold on, wait a minute. It's like a fo oh yeah, there is a photo mode. 
Alright, how do I free orbit free uh no I don't want to tilt it. Alright, how do I zoom in? Because I need to Oh <laughs> Yeah. That's what I like to see right there, boys. <laughs> Alright, I wanna take a picture of this. No. No. Uh How do I take the picture? How do I push to take it though? Do I just hit X? Did I do it? Can you let me take the damn picture? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just wanted to get a closer look at that. I wanted to try and take a picture of it, but I could not because I did not know how photomas work. Because it did not tell me what button to push, cause, so I do not know what button to push. I need to prioritize crime so that way I can get drip. Dri so I can d get the different parts of the city done, so that way I don't have to worry about fighting crimes later on, and I can just... Ah, here we go. Wow, that was easy. Wow! Nothing puts a pep in my step like halting an illegal drug deal. Anyways, uh, like I was saying earlier, um, it's it's not just the kids who then grow up and become adults, and then the adults are, you know, just, they can't stand simple, happy, slice-of-life stories. Harry's VIP card for the nightclub. Harry always tried to include me. But it's also the, um, it's also just like the executives behind and just the entertainment industry in general, not caring about things and thinking, oh, it really doesn't, you know, why put effort in when it's just a dumb show that no one's going to care about? Or, you know, it's just a dumb game, you know, or dumb book, you know, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm trying to kind of do a blanket sweep here because I'm kind of talking about every... Oh, come on. Oh, let me grab this and then I'll... Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. That would suck. Uh, is he up here on the, oh, yep, they're up on the building, right up here. Hello, fellers! That's it. go hit this tower and I guess I'll hit the tower in the next in the next district. There we go, I finally said it right. Hooray and hoorah. Hey yay even. Nope. Back this way. There we go. <clears throat> Ugh, so many fucking backpacks everywhere. 
spent nearly this entire video doing that alone and almost nothing else. Alright. I'm gonna go get this one backpack, and then I'm going right to the objective. After I do the tower within the area where Doc is. Okay, well, looks like I'm gonna get the backpack after the robbery. Because, damn it, I wanna fight crimes. I wanna beat the shit out of people with reckless abandon. get a backpack but oh for one while I need to get on you know go do something else I will make at some point once I have like all the different side missions and all that available I'll just like take a, a couple videos just to go through and do everything They passed me, really. Alright, that was all of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What was I saying earlier? I, mean, I was talking about how like ex even the executives are to blame a lot because they just don't understand. That's what amazes me whenever um, like movies like Puss in Boots, The Last Wish come out. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. Like from the trailers that I've seen, what I and like the little bit that I've seen from like clips about it. It just looks amazing, and I'm surprised a movie as good as it apparently is came out in, you know, this, you know, in today's world. Okay, Peter, I do not want to see your scarred chest. That is the least that I want to see. But I guess that's one reason I just always loved Spider-Man. It's just, he's so much of a slice-of-life hero. You know, and that's kind of the thing that I love most in storytelling, whenever it's a sli slice of life story, where a character is just allowed to be human with no, um, right, let me do this to pull up the crime so that way I can stop it. Alright. Come on, hurry up so I can... Fight. And once I finish punching these guys, that'll be the end of today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.